the Ministry of Health has confirmed the first coronavirus case in Kenya. It's a pandemic that has relegated this group to the back burners. COVID-19 is not a pandemic. And now, the struggle is not just about the invisible virus, but the very visible threat of hunger. KTN News goes in depth into the lives of street families as I bring you the plight of a people nobody wants to help in the midst of a pandemic. If the coronavirus effects and the subsequent curfew it has since imposed on Kenya is hard on you, then imagine how it feels for street families. The dusk to dawn curfew which begins every day at 7 p.m., means that after the cover of darkness envelops the city, only the bright lights of Nairobi's skyline remain as a form of solace for those left behind. And here is where I find these young boys tucked underneath this pavilion at the Uhuru Park. Five minutes after the curfew kicks in, 56-year-old Stephen Okwemba walks to the dark dungeon he calls his home. It's a daily trek he makes from the nearby Wakulima market, where he scavenges for leftover fruits to help feed nearly 20 homeless boys. <laughs> Stephen is the oldest among the group. He joined the streets two years ago after he lost his job as a security guard in Kawangware. After failing to pay six months of his rent, he was eventually kicked out by the landlord. It's the kind of shame that accompanies anyone who decides the streets is their home. 19-year-old Musa Mohammed ran away from home in 2009 due to poverty and domestic violence. Street life has been his way of life. But he's the first to admit times have never been harder than they are since the corona pandemic hit Kenya. The despair has been instigated by the fact that restaurants and hotels don't operate during the curfew. A majority of street families would often benefit from the leftovers of such establishments. Now, not even begging can help the group because no one is in town at night. Food to yan to semetu masafara wote as a whole. If food to kitwita wa tu masafara wa live la yata kama mse anaskiza um to monyana ataona yi kitu aju kuna people behind uko wanaumia. For sure serious gidal. Wanaumia. Wanaumia kabisa. On this day, Musa and the rest of his friends would share the little that Stephen brought with him from the market. 
not much, just two oranges, which I witnessed as the boys selflessly shared amongst themselves, even though a majority did not even get a piece. Manzi was in Kama We are a family. What happened to my family? Min kepati wado, ni kenda kubai food. Una pata na msa mi ala kwa veranda. Kitoa kwanza ta kumbi brother ni kongja. Ata kama ni mwenza ni kongja. Nse di uko na fifth bob no me bombe stika tan. Mwende mkuu chipo chapu ten bob. Na kila mtu wa kongja. That chapu ten bob ule kumbukule mse ajimanga. Don't know the total laser jekula. Oh this kuzanya jekula. We manyo una jari buku familia. At least. Your brothers are part of the too, but they're not getting anything. Gavan kuku to Vuruga. They don't want to take it to Kemal Popote. Kanju walk part to me relax. Labuli Fanakal, Shugulia Kojano, she walk part to me relax. Wana Kufunga, no kenda court, you easy kata kesi, because you take car remand. Kubalikesi atakaman kito wongo. The curfew, brought about by the deadly coronavirus, has since inculcated a culture of brotherhood among these folks. But the spirit of togetherness is posing a risk. The government has been advocating for social distancing as part of efforts to cope with COVID-19. The boys say distancing oneself is near impossible considering the circumstances. Sit na belief for Mungu. Social distance because it's in a trick because for us we live to share. Na mini kiwa na yo ule mungina kona yo. Mi kasi na ule piana. So upon it me to me kwa tricky sana. So sit na to nekatu imani to kwa mungu. Sa minas kia du COVID 19 as into koni na koni wali idiaza tu koni akunata 18 one. COVID 19 and a mime si du koni ni 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 sasa. Many street families still remain out of the loop on how best to manage the pandemic. The government directive to channel all food donations through the COVID-19 Emergency Response Fund is also not helping. Since it took effect, the boys tell me no one has offered them any meals. <laughs> Oh mother, ana ana kitu kwa blister kunonyesha mtu hii. Yeye mwenyeaje manga, mtu hii ana kitu ya kumanga. Gavai ikifanya sengine pia au ni au ni binadamu. Humanity is free of tax. If you get a chance never to show, never fail to show it. Au ni binadamu kaa sisi. Tuliumbwa na Mungu. Kwa Mungu hakuna mtu mwenye ni mbigi na mdogo. Wote tuko equal. It's just a few minutes past 1 a.m. and after spending a few hours with the members of the street family you really can't help but empathize with their situation. These are people who, for one reason or another, have found solace on the streets. But because of COVID-19, their biggest threat at the moment is not the threat of the virus, but that of hunger. And their rallying call is basically to find help from anyone willing to give them a listening ear. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. When KTN News met them a couple of days ago, more than 20 street boys who form a section of Nairobi's street families were in dire straits. But we can now report that things are looking up for the 22 boys who poured out their hearts on Monday night after going days without a proper meal. My arrival at the Tonelamaji Rescue Center at the outskirts of Nairobi came just 24 hours after they were taken off the streets courtesy of a government directive 
that emanated from State House. The president himself has um, <clears throat> instructed uh, the ministry to ensure that uh, this is the, these are the first people that uh, we give atten we pay attention. So after that, I receive a call from uh, the uh, Street Family uh, Fund Trust, and uh, they we are executing, I, I'm sure, the order of the government to try to do something, and so we started collaborating. That collaboration has seen the likes of 19-year-old Musa Mohammed find a place to call home. When we spoke to him a few days earlier, he had gone days without having anything for supper. People behind Duko Anaumia, for sure serious in general. But today, his joy was hard to contain. <laughs> From our night out on the streets, he insisted that we would now do the interview at the same spot he will now be sleeping away from the cold. The boys will now be hosted at the center for a couple of days before they are relocated to a much bigger facility in Kajiado County. For now though, the pressing challenge of hunger has since been resolved. Ah, sisi kumanchi. Si kula tunakula viti. Adiwe mwenye unajiachia. Nasema apana, si istaka kula nini. Si kula tunakula. Iko poa akoz. Apo inje ilikuwa ni changamoto kubwa sana. Tena history na corona ilikuwa inatuatarisha sana. Lakini tunashukuru sana. Juku na wase hapa hivi wana zile skills za job nini. Peleke kama nizo mtu kitu wanya na zafanya kama pele kwe kosi kitu wanya teza. Wana teza fanya poa at least hapo badai ikueneza nini mshikile kimaisha. But the likes of Musa and his peers are the lucky few. A majority still remain out in the cold even as the government consolidates efforts to help the homeless amidst the global pandemic. Kila kitu tuiko fiti, tunamanga, at least tunalala kwa jibuko blanket, tunajifunika, at least tunaweza otu na jila wakati, haungi ota, kila time tuiko rada, say unalala tunalala tu free, kila kitu tuiko sawa, tunawachi TV, tunajibamba, tunawungia na wase, yani they say home is where the heart is and when I met these boys a couple of days ago they were clinging on to hope that somebody would hear their cries. It would have been unimaginable just a couple of days ago that today they would find a roof over their heads, some place to call home, a starting point that might not mean much at the moment but in the long run will go a long way in ensuring their futures is well secured. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.